of learning. A warm welcome to all of you. In this session, we are going to learn principle of maximum social advantage. Principle of maximum social advantage is a principle developed by Professor Dalton. So this is for second year BCom students and I am Siva Saraswati. So principle of maximum social advantage in public finance Whatever activities are done by the government of India, it is done for the benefit of the society. So, at that time, Professor Dalton, a famous, well-known British economist, he must have thought, we require one fundamental principle, which should be the root of public finance. So, Dalton expressed his view after proper experiments with scientific calculations. He mentioned the best system of public finance is that which will give maximum benefit to the society, maximum advantage to the society by the operations it conducts. So, this principle of maximum social advantage is known as the maximum of public finance. It is the root of public finance. This is an important topic in which whenever government fund is being utilized by any government employee, this principle should be the guideline. This principle of maximum social advantage should be the guideline which will govern every governmental activity. So, state should keep this principle as a guiding principle for doing all the activities of the state, all the activities of the government. So, that is about principle of maximum social advantage. So, in this principle, what Professor Dalton has expressed, that we should know. So, in short form, this principle is known as capital M, capital S, and capital A, M, S, A. So, this is the maxim of the state, which should be the principle governing the public finance. Abhi that you understood this much. Then, coming to this, in detail, what Professor Dalton has mentioned, how he has explained, he explained this principle with two main points with reference to two main points that is maximum social sacrifice and maximum social benefit. We should understand this term how what definition he has given for these two terms. So maximum social sacrifice first point with that point he explained this principle. Then second point maximum social benefit. Whenever government perform various activities, it should have enough money to perform that activity. And money is coming from which source for the government? Usually, government will collect tax. In the form of tax, government will collect money and that money will be utilized by the government for performing various activities. Public finance deals with the money of the people, that is government will utilize the money of the people. So, government when the tax is imposed, how it is impacting the society, that he studied. When a tax is imposed to one person, for example, if a person is having total income of rupees 50,000 in this month and if he should give 10,000 rupees as tax for the whole year means then his purchasing power 
worth rupees ten thousand will be very will be decreased. So, like that, he should sacrifice ten thousand rupees for the benefit of the country. So, for example, if you have to pay tax, for example, again I am giving. One lakh rupees. If you have to pay in one year, you can buy a lot of things with this one lakh rupees. If you have to, if you have to pay in the form of tax, means in by without paying the tax, what will be the utility for you? Yes, you can utilize for buying so many things like dress materials. Like eatables. If you want to buy a vehicle, you can pay the monthly instalment of that vehicle by this amount. A part of this amount can be utilized for this. Like that, so many things. If you want to buy a house, you can utilize this amount for paying the uh, instalment amount. If you had taken a loan, like that, so many things you can utilize this money. If you are not paying the tax, so there is a loss of utility in that part of each individual. So when a government is taxing, there will be loss of utility. That means when there is taxation, the purchasing power of the people will come down, and people will have to sacrifice. So. Every unit of extra tax will give extra sacrifice from each individual. From each individual means society as a whole is sacrificing. So more tax means more sacrifice from the society. Social sacrifice. Societal sacrifice. Social means society. How much burden is coming to the society, or how much sacrifice is done by the society? So, from individual point of view, you understood. If you are paying one lakh rupees in the form of taxation, you are sacrificing so many utility that is coming to you, and that amount you are giving to the government. So more taxation means more sacrifice when we are considering the whole society, and marginal social sacrifice increases. So what is marginal social sacrifice means? How much amount of sacrifice is there in the society when the government imposes one additional? Unit of tax, one more extra unit of tax will increase the total amount of sacrifice in the society, and that is ascertained in marginal social sacrifice. So once again, I am saying, what is marginal social sacrifice? It means the amount of social sacrifice. Undergone by the public due to imposition of additional unit of tax. So this is about social sacrifice. Then Dalton, Professor Dalton, explained this marginal social sacrifice with the help of a diagram. In that diagram, he has explained in the x-axis unit of tax expressed in rupee, and in the y-axis marginal social sacrifice is indicated. So this graph contains x-axis and y-axis. In the x-axis, unit of tax in rupees is expressed. In y-axis, marginal social sacrifice is expressed. So, see the curve is moving upward. When the society is sacrificing, 
more and more for the country marginal social sacrifice the sacrifice made by the whole society is increasing it is going on increasing and increasing so same is the case of individual when you are sacrificing your curve will be like this then here i want to explain in the x axis how this curve is moving marginal social sacrifice curve rises upward from left to right see you look at x axis when the tax is om1 the marginal social sacrifice is os1 when the tax is increased to om2 see x axis when the tax is increased to om2 marginal social sacrifice increased to os2 or social sacrifice increased to os2 so again if the tax is increased to om3 then sacrifice increased to os3 that is why when there is a one more unit of taxation then the sacrifice of the society goes on increasing and increasing so marginal social sacrifice curve rises upward from left to right so social sacrifice will show an increasing tendency mss curve will show an increasing tendency or social sacrifice increases with additional unit of taxation that is what we understood from professor jackson expression through this marginal social sacrifice so then coming to another term which professor jackson expressed is marginal social benefit so in marginal social benefit i should explain what is the benefit if you have studied in your small classes law of diminishing marginal utility that is if the most people like ice cream that is why i have expressed ice cream in front of you i do like very much ice cream so if i am giving you one plate of ice cream with three scoops of oh, see this is pistachio okay very tasty i have given you one plate you liked it very much okay thank you thank you very much thank you. second plate also i am giving you you are so much happy and you will eat it so that is why okay then i am going to give you three plates four plates five plates six plates in the during that period itself during that time it will be fine to give in after the third or fourth plate you will say no i don't want i don't want so if some benefit is coming regularly there is a point at which it will reach that people will get dissatisfied so whenever expenditure of the government is being spent or expenditure incurred by the government or money is spent by the government the government should know these things that how much benefit is coming to the society when the government spent money up to certain limit so that is what dr dalton has found out through his scientific methods so in marginal social benefit what is meant by marginal social benefit that we should know public expenditure gives benefit to the people and benefit comes to the society by 
one more unit of additional expenditure by the government that benefit is known as marginal social benefit so by giving one more unit of extra expenditure or by spending one more unit by the government how much benefit is coming to the society is it beneficial to the society that government should assess so marginal social benefit is the additional benefit that is coming to the society by the additional unit of public expenditure and here just like the law of diminishing marginal utility we have understood what is the law of diminishing marginal utility i am giving you one plate two plate three plates of ice cream and then you are fed up with that i don't want that such a situation will occur or utility or the benefit that is coming to individual will decrease same is the case with society so social benefit from each additional unit of expenditure will decline as more and more units of public expenditure are spent that is when the government is spending beyond a point that can also result in the decline of the benefit to the society so when more and more public expenditure is made benefit will decline after a certain period that is why marginal social benefit curve is sloping downward it sloping downward marginal social sacrifice curve moved upward from left to right marginal social benefit curve is moving downward so just as marginal utility from a commodity to a customer declines as more and more of that commodity is given to that particular person societal benefit will decline by one more unit of expenditure that is if in your house also just imagine if you are spending more and more money for any one item for example okay you bought one dining table two dining tables three dining tables then people in that house will say no no we don't want to get filled with these dining tables in this house so that is the case with all the products that is why after spending beyond a limit after spending money beyond a limit people will get dissatisfied so that is expressed by professor dalton in his explanation of marginal social benefit so here you look into the diagram x axis expresses unit of public expenditure and y axis expresses marginal social benefit when the expenditure is om1 look at x axis when the expenditure is om1 the benefit is ob1 that is more benefit when the government spends to om2 then the benefit declines to ob2 ob1 is in the higher amount and ob2 is a lesser amount see the y axis then again government is spending om3 benefit again declined to ob3 so that is why marginal social benefit curves slope downward from left to right social benefit will reduce so when public expenditure was om1 marginal social benefit was ob1 when public expenditure was om2 
marginal social benefit is reduced by OB2. Then we have combined these two graphs, graphs and we mean Dr. Dalton expressed this by combining these two graphs and he had drawn in the x-axis unit of tax and expenditure in rupees and marginal social benefit and sacrifice expressed in y-axis. So, social advantage is maximized at the point where marginal social sacrifice curve cuts the marginal social benefit curve. This is at the point P. At point P, MSS equals MSB. Up to that point, government can spend. Beyond that point, government should not spend. So, you look into the point of the MSB curve, marginal social benefit curve. At point P1, marginal social benefit is P1 Q1. This is greater than the marginal social sacrifice S1 Q1. So, sacrifice is less and benefit is more at this stage. When the government is spending or government is taxing, how it is impacting the society? At point P1 in the MSB curve, benefit curve, marginal social benefit curve, Marginal social benefit is P1, Q1, which is higher than marginal social sacrifice S1, Q1. So, S1, Q1, that is the taxation, is showing a lesser amount than the benefit, which is P1, Q1. Then at point P, the MSS equals MSB. The level of taxation and public expenditure moves up to <coughs> OQ. So at this point, marginal at point P, marginal social benefit equals marginal social sacrifice. This is the point of maximum social advantage. Society will get maximum advantage at this point. And at point P2, See the marginal social benefit curve. P2. Marginal social sacrifice is S2, Q2, which is higher than P2, Q2. So, benefit is only P2, Q2, which is lesser than the taxation, which is S2, Q2. So, marginal social sacrifice S2, Q2 is greater than marginal social benefit P2, Q2. Therefore, beyond the point P, if the government is taxing or if the government is spending, that will not attain more, that will not give more benefit to the society. That is what Professor Dalton has identified through this graph. So at point P, marginal social benefit equals marginal social sacrifice. Professor Dalton mentioned that up to this point, only government should spend. So this shows to obtain maximum benefit, public expenditure should be carried out only up to that point where the marginal social benefit equals marginal social sacrifice. That is what we have understood. In this COVID period, you have identified. Government spent a lot of expenditure. How government spent? What all actions government had taken? You have identified. How people participated with firm actions taken by the government? For that also government requires money. People's participation for that also up to some point forceful implementation of the people not to come out of the house if there is any disease that also requires money. Excellent healthcare come healthcare 
delivery system implemented by the government so these are the weapons of the government which government implemented during this covid period and millions of people who are working as migrant workers even in foreign countries we have and we indian government dealt that situation also by properly managing with the limited funds that the government is having by following the principle of maximum social advantage during these times we had utilized or we okay we understood how much government should spend so government spent for ventilator government spent for creating new beds in various hospitals government implemented methods for Uh, the creation of isolation wards then for giving training to the health work health worker then for uh, creation of trauma center if the people is having that disease then low cost availability of the ppe kit everything requires money up to which extent government should do that is being analyzed in this principle of maximum social advantage so it is having a lot of benefit but still i should say some of the limitations that is why i am coming to that point here professor dalpin has expressed this only through certain conditions so when loan is raised the um, professor dalpin identified that all money is coming in the form of tax only but there can be situations when loan can also be raised by the government so that is not being analyzed in this theory as a demerit and say uh, i have to say some demerit so that is why i am saying and here one more point maximum social advantage and maximum social benefit cannot be correctly measured how much benefit is coming to a whether the same benefit will come if i am giving this education to b no whether the same benefit will come if i am saying some more valuable words to see no sometimes may not so we cannot measure benefit accurately more correctly in numbers and another demerit of this theory is this theory works in static condition that is in real world situation always there will be changes so that changes are not considered in this principle then Professor Dalton had explained. So I think you understood at least this point. Professor Dalton expressed that best system of public finance is that where which gives maximum benefit to the society, maximum social advantage to the society, and let it be the guiding principle of all the governmental actions. And as a citizen, as a future citizen of our country. i am asking you also to follow this principle when you are in any working situation thank you for listening for my lessons as well as for my talk thank you very much my dear nana